Hi, what up guys? We're back at it with the Fable Apprentice playthrough. In the last video, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We did a bunch of side quests and whatnot. And I think at this point, we've got the Litchfield Graveyard. And then the Bargate Prison is after that, but I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to do the Bargate Prison in this video. So I'm thinking we'll probably end up doing like Lady Grey or something like that. We'll see. It honestly all just kind of depends on whether or not more quests open up, but we'll probably end up doing Lady Grey. Now the real question is, is it too late to start the uh, Mary Lady Grey quest now that I've like, I wanna say I've gotten like halfway through the uh, exposed Lady great quest but i've definitely already done at least like one or two steps of that quest so hopefully that doesn't mess with the merry lady great quest because otherwise i'm going to be stuck exposing lady gray and that's no fun so usually when i do like the bandit execution or rescue quest or whatever i forgot that quest usually leaves me here and then i go to lishfield graveyard and get the uh the teleporter that did not happen this time around i was just thinking like man i should have gotten myself a teleport what the hell you know else i just realized i don't have i don't have the spade or the fishing pole so i guess i'm gonna have to get them both from here I think the spade is here and the fishing pole is over by Nostro. Hello. Oh, that old thing. Look, the undead are rising again. Why is he following me though? That's the real question. I never quite understood that little detail. Like, why is he following me in here? Is he just trying to like die or something? What's up? It's crazy how much faster you roll without a weapon. Like, I suppose that might be like the trick to doing like a speed run or whatever, but it's like, you know, how quick is it if you have to keep putting your sword away? There we go. Damn, dude. That guy does some fucking damage, too. That's crazy. My armor, my helmet, my sword, and my shield. My armor, my helmet, my sword, and my shield. I don't know why, but this was always one of the most memorable parts of this game for me. Was the stupid, my armor, my helmet, my sword, and my shield thing. There's nothing down there. I'm sure. What is up with this lag I keep getting? Like, I keep getting these, like, really, like, worrisome lag spikes between, like, events or actions or whatever. And it, like, straight up looks like the game is about to crash for half a second. These guys are insanely annoying. It's ridiculous. Now this can go literally either way. Wow, that was retarded. Like, I can go either way. Like, oh yeah, just first try, fuck it. Yeah, that was big dude, dum dum. I can't believe how easy that was. That was like the easiest I've ever fished something ever. My armor, my helmet, my sword, and my shield. What a good guy. Just yielding the path for me after doing stuff for him like that. I'm not gonna lie, I always straight up forget about this portion of this quest. For some reason, whenever I get to the Litchfield Graveyard quest, I'm always like, oh, all you gotta do is do this part. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, no, you gotta go through here. Dude, these guys just will not stop spawning, and it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous. I swear to God, there's literally no way this is faster than running. Maybe it just looks really slow, but somehow it is fast. Like, it's like, you will never convince me that this is faster than running. And if it is, it's, it's not faster enough to be worth actually doing. I promise you, it's not. I still gotta make a video. I wanna see, like exactly what the breakdown is of speed like like how much time would it really save you like i'm thinking i'm thinking like fractions of a second right like i think like at maximum you might save like a quarter or like maybe even like a half of a second per like per uh what, what would you call this per cell per area per whatever like from like medallion to medallion from teleport to teleport or whatever you call it like I, I don't think you would save more than like half a second of time by rolling. I just, I really truly don't. It visibly doesn't even look faster, which means that if it is faster at all, which I still kind of doubt, it can't be enough to be actually worth doing. It can't be enough to be actually worth like the fuck ups that might occur due to the fact that you're deciding to do that. You know what I mean? Like the fact that you have to put your weapon away just to make it actually work. Um, the fact that there's a possibility that you might like misclick and just end up slowing yourself down. Cause that's the thing. If you miss like one roll, like, if you miss one roll, like, congratulations, you've now slowed yourself down so much that running would have been faster, right? It's already, like, basically not worth it, and then it's, like, such a high-risk thing to try, because if you fuck up even once, you've ruined it completely, and you've lost time instead of gained time, because it's... The margins are just so thin that one fuck-up flips the margins the other way. Like, you go from adding a a quarter second to like removing a quarter second it's stupid and again this is kind of all just me theorizing i've never actually done the test to see exactly what the timing is but from what i can visibly see there's no way that the difference is significant enough to really be worth doing but no i definitely would like to make that video eventually i just kind of keep forgetting about it that wasn't too bad it was what 10 minutes to do that but is there an important quest card at the guild for me oh i don't know why it took me so long to realize what it was but that one's not too bad. That's ridiculous. How is that even? Oh, wow. I have 40,000 will experience. I didn't notice that. 
Oh, I'm looking for someone to I'm looking for someone to take me. I'll pay you if you helps me. Here's the deal, see? Just talk to me again. I don't know how I always forgot about this. I don't know how it's been so long since I've tried this one. I kind of forgot about this. This was always like one of the random little quests I would do like originally when playing this game. Okay, are you gonna like... I can't run as quickly as you can. You're not running at all, dude. Fucking idiot. Not so fast. I'm literally walking, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Man? Oh, that's right. We're in the middle of a quest. Wait, how does that work? So now I just have like more collateral damage to fucking incur. That's awesome, dude. There we go. Sweet. I think that's probably like the best thing about archery in this game is that archery gives you bonus opportunities to kill people. You can almost make the uh, argument with willpower since you can like lightning people's heads off, I get, I guess. But there's a pretty inherent difference between sitting there and lightning somebody until like quite possibly maybe their head pops off and using your bow to just shoot their head off, right? Rip the swine's arms off. If you accidentally kill the fucking traitor, it'd be great. That wasn't too bad. It's kind of weird being like in the middle of a fucking bronze quest while I'm in the middle of a silver quest, but you know, it is what it is. I think from what I understand, bronze quests do not have quest regions at all. Like they are such like side quests that they don't even have quest regions. Damn. It is kind of crazy how much you can decapitate people with lightning. This guy really ran all the way to me for no reason. That's crazy. Can't relate. It is though like pretty crazy how fast lightning kills these guys for like no reason at all. Great. Nothing to lose. Oh, wait a minute. He didn't even like try to kill. I'm so confused. Like supposedly he's supposed to kill her if you like fuck with him too much or whatever. Stay away from that key. We don't need that. There gonna be enemies here. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? We're here? Well, you've earned this gold. Oh. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The green dot is here. Shit. Okay, change of plans. Change of plans. We're doing this. We're doing a live. Fuck yes. We finally got it. I actually, like, the last couple videos forgot to check this again. It is after the arena. People kept saying, oh, you can only do it before the arena. No, it seems to be after the arena. I'm, like, not gonna lie. I always thought you just straight up couldn't even go in this house. But it turns out, if you do this quest, or I guess if you just show up during this quest, you can go in this house. It's kind of nice. You can't permanently open it, though. Ah, oh, there's actually a ghost back here. There was zero cap in that statement. Ooh. Hello there, my dear. Wow, it's really about to be that quick of a fucking quest, huh? Which way is Greatwood Lake? Is it this way? I guess it's this way. This is where we came from, isn't it? Can't remember, honestly. Greatwood Lake, there we go. I guess it does tell you, doesn't it? Very simple and quick quest, but... Very impossible to find somehow. This is the, the fuck? Killed me right here. Hurt like hell, I can tell you. Okay. I think he came from that path. The one going up to the waterfalls. <laughs> okay. In fact, I think I see something. No! You mean that guy like 15 it's feet away from us? You can see him? The little beast. <clears throat> How come I never see the ghost of my family though? What's up with that? Wait, does he not have the mech the necklace though? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? That uh, doesn't make any sense, but okay. I was pretty certain that uh, he was gonna have it. But it did not end up playing out the way I thought it would. It's honestly wild though that I've just like never done this quest. I feel like there's a very slim possibility that I have done this quest once. Cause for some reason I do like, I do have a vague memory of the ghost by the grave back there but it must be like a really old fucking memory or something because i can't remember a single time i've done this how can i ever thank you how about letting me use your house huh take this gold with my thanks i'm afraid it's all i can offer how about your house bro i i really gotta talk to her though huh that's crazy as fuck dog why can't these people talk to each other how lovely of you if i still had my lips i'd kiss you the worms ate them though. Mm. Ah, at last I can take that nap. <laughs> Goodbye, okay. dearie. It's a pretty fucking weird way to end a quest, but okay. What the fuck, dude? Marna Jennings. Loving mother. Dead.
All right, so now I guess let's uh, go marry Lady Grey if we can't. Should theoretically be a pretty quick... Oh, I gotta fight Thunder, though. That might not theoretically be that quick. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Oh, you know what? I need to buy a house. 100% haven't done that yet. $1,500 for a house. That's honestly insane, bro. It's really, like, unacceptable for people to be living like this, bro. Like, you can buy an entire house for $1,500 and you're still, like, essentially homeless. Like, there are zero excuses for that. There's literally zero excuses, bro. Like, do literally anything and you will have enough money for the house, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, how the fuck do you get homeless when an entire house is $1,500, bro? Like, I have enough money to buy every single person in the world a $1,500 house. Like, you're tripping. The game is acting so fucking weird. Like, I'm gonna save right now just because, like, who knows if this bitch is about to crash or not. Like, after after having this game go from, like, never crashing on me ever to, like, oh, it crashed on me. Wow, that's crazy. Like, I don't trust it anymore. I can't. It might crash on me at any time. Oh, we sure have used some fucking potions, haven't we? I don't know why I'm doing this. This is just wasting time. That was only 855 experience. Holy shit. I feel like that's an extremely underutilized way to get Guile experience. Like, I feel like people only really do that glitch for the money, and it's like, it's a really, really good way to get Guile experience, by the way. Especially if you can go get, like, a combat multiplier and then go find a wandering trader to do that with. Like, you know, you do that with a combat multiplier of, like, 10 or 20, like, you get pretty insane experience from that. You do have a house. Right, so this is where things get annoying. It's like, who do you even talk to? I can never even remember. Yeah, I pretty much just talk to everybody, because I don't really know who to talk to. Okay, so now we should be able to go... Honestly, we should just straight up be able to dig it up if I understand correctly, but I'm always like, for some reason, only like half and half on that, whether or not it'll work. It could just be that the only time it didn't work for me was when I didn't talk to enough people first. I don't know. From what I understand, you have to manually dig and nobody likes doing that. You're probably not going to need that lamp anymore. Oh, wow. He actually found it. He's a good guy. And then we get to go fight Thunder. Oh, shit. The recall, though, too. That's even better. I guess we go fight Thunder, right? You still haven't fought Thunder, have you? I still understand why that's like a determining factor. It like literally doesn't make any sense. You have to kill Thunder to marry Lady Grey, even though like she clearly only wants you. She's 100% not interested in Thunder literally at the fuck all. Evidenced by literally every single interaction you've ever witnessed and encountered in this game. Like she literally has zero interest in Thunder and yet for some reason you have to fight him. It makes no fucking sense. Like I won in the arena. I did this. I did that. I fucking found her long lost necklace that nobody else ever found. Like it doesn't make fucking sense, dude. Now, this is a particularly interesting fight because literally your sword is useless against Thunder, bro. Dude, we're not killing him six damage at a time, bro. Fuck off. It's not ideal, but it's literally the only way to fight him. It's either this or never hit him ever. Yeah, this is literally fucking stupid, bro. Dude, he was fucking ready for that. Goddamn. Honestly, fuck all these people, bro. Oh, they only take three fucking damage. That's fucked. Yeah, I don't think he can assassin rush me through here anyway, so fuck him, right? So does he get down to like a half health, or what does he get down to? Yep, half health. He thought he could use lightning on me for a second there. That was kind of crazy. You, you really think he could use lightning on me? I'm the lightning guy, not you. You're thunder, I'm lightning. And you know what they say about thunder? You can't have thunder without lightning. Yeah, this is actually fucking horrendous. I hate this. So how's everybody's day going? Could you imagine if I just like included this fight completely unedited? Like just me standing here silently, like lightninging him away. Dude, she literally does the opposite of love you, bro. Did you not listen to any of those conversations she had with you? She fucking, like, thinks you're an idiot, dude. Like, not only does she not love you, she basically thinks you're a fucking retard. And a little bitch. Like, that was definitely fully established by her. This has definitely already been five minutes worth of lightning. I we're gonna end up, like, about six or seven minutes deep worth of lightning here. Damn it, dude. Hit me with that thing. He hit me with that thing. Of course we run out of magic first. Dude, that is fucking bullshit. Oh, there we go. We got the super hitter now. You are fucked, sir. It uses your magic faster like that, too.
There we go. chooses our friends well. No one has defeated me before. Man, not even electroshock therapy could cure his retardation. I tried. I tried to fix him. It didn't work. Works for all the other crazy people, just not him. Now let's go remember to marry Lady Grey. For some reason, my pro move is to do literally the entire Lady Grey quest and then like completely forget that the last step of the quest is to like, you know, do the marriage part, right? And I have to like remind myself to like marry Lady Grey. There's definitely been several times where I just completely forget to marry Lady Grey and I just like don't even think about it until later. I'm like, oh shit, I never actually married her. I just kind of did the fight and said, fuck it. To be fair, this part is like pretty fucking arbitrary unless you like really need the money. Hero. And so the hero married. And so the hero married. Does that even show up in the Chamber of Fate? Like, what is the deal with that? Well, all right. Pretty good, pretty good. And I think anything else we'll just save for the next video at this point. I'm sure there's like some super duper side quests around here somewhere, but uh, I don't really care about them all that much. So yeah, I think that's about it for this video. In the next video, we will definitely tackle the Bargate Prison. And uh, who knows, it might actually end up being all we tackle in the next video. That one tends to be a little bit of a doozy, similar to the arena quest. So we will see all that happens in the next video, but I'm thinking it's just going to be the prison quest. Anyways, though, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show the algorithm some love and hit that like button for me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on all my latest gaming content. Of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member and help support the channel monetarily. On that note, I'd like to give a special shout out to my active channel members. Thank you all for your continued support. It is definitely greatly appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.